Today I'm making the third video in the Learning Git series, and this one is all about branches. What is a branch? How do you use a branch? How do you create a branch, delete a branch, merge a branch? What the hell is a branch? So, what I have here is the repo that I used in the first two videos called Giddy, and I'm going to bring that down onto the computer and take a look and see what we've got. So we'll use the git clone command, and this is the URL dot git, and then the folder, I'm going to create a folder called Giddy. There we go. So there, I've downloaded the folder. It's now on my computer. I have everything inside this folder, Giddy, so I need to go into that folder. There we are. I'm inside of that. If I do an ls command, you can see I've got the index.html file. Git ignores hidden, so it's not showing up by default unless I do ls-la. There we go. There's all the files, including the hidden ones. So my .git folder is there, and my .git ignore file are there. All right. Now, I want to know, if I wanted to upload this, do I have the proper settings? So I can do this in any remote, not just this one, but any remote. If I say git remote, it tells me, okay, origin is the name of the remote. That's this URL, this GitHub website is going to be known as origin. I can call it anything I want. When I'm adding the remote URL to any repo, we can use any name we want, but origin's the default name that gets used most of the time. If I do git remote dash V, there it is. There's origin. And so for fetching and pushing, it's the same URL. If you ever did want to change that name, you can do that. You can come in here and say git remote set URL origin, and then whatever the new URL is. So you can change this if you need to at some point. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we're talking about branches. So git status use this command a lot. Get used to using it because it's going to tell you what's going on and where you are and what you're doing. I am on branch master. If I look up here in GitHub, I've got this branch master thing right here. If I open that up, that's the only branch that I have inside of here. Over here, it says one branch. If I click on this, master, that is the only branch so what is a branch? Well, it is a branch of the code. It means it's a version of the code. So I can have one main version of the code that I'm working on, and then I can make a copy of it. And on that copy, that's where I'm going to do my experimenting. That's where I'm going to make my changes. That's where I'm going to test out new features. When I'm happy with them, I'm going to take that experimental code and bring it back into the master branch. That's what's known as a merge. So you can branch your code, which is creating a new version, and then you can merge your code, which is bringing it back together. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do both those things. So I can see here that I'm on branch master. And if I wanted to bring this up in brackets so I can make some changes, I'm going to do that here. So brackets, I'm going to open my current folder. There we are. So here is in brackets. Here's my git ignore file. That's all that I've got inside of here. I'm going to uh, make some changes in there. But before I do that, um, actually, no, I'll go ahead and do that now. So let's just say we're going to add our node modules folder, and I will save that. I've now made a change to this file. So there is a change in my repo. If I do git status now, it says, hey, you know, you've modified that file there's changes to be made. If I do a git diff, git diff tells me the difference. So here's the file. Um, so we remove the old version, add in the new version. This is what was there before. And then this green with a little plus in front of it, this is something new that was added. So we have made a change. So let's stage that. We'll add that, add all of our files, Oops. git add dash a. So we've staged all that. If I do git status again, it tells us, hey, you've got a file that's staged, the git ignore file, and we'll git commit that. And we'll say git commit, and we'll add our message, added node modules. There we go. Okay. Now, my next commit, now, 
If I do git diff now, you can see nothing happens because there's no changes. Um, the current version of the repo and all the files that are inside the repo, they're all the exact same. There's no differences. If I say git branch now, master, it's the only branch, just like up here. It is the only branch that I've got on my repo right now. So I want to make a brand new one. To do that, git branch, and then I come up with a name. So let's call it Bob. There we go. Now if I do git status, it still says I'm using, I'm on the branch master, but if I do git branch, I get a list now. Here's Bob, and the one with the asterisk in the green text, that is the one that I'm currently on. If I want to switch over to Bob, I can do this. I can say git. Oh, and when I did git branch Bob, what that did was it created a copy of the latest version of the code and put it in the branch Bob. It's not an empty branch. It has a copy of what's in master right now. So I want to move over to that. The command is checkout git checkout, and then the name of the branch. There we are. Switch to branch Bob. Great. If I do git status, it tells me I'm on the branch Bob, but there's nothing to commit, no working changes. So let's come back here and let's make a change. Let's say in this branch, um, now I'm just doing basic changes to the git ignore file. You can make any changes you want to multiple files. That won't make a difference. Uh, so ignore the docs folder in branch bob. So we'll create a thing like that. Now I don't have a docs folder, I'm just making a change so that there's something in here that has been changed. Get status again. Okay, yeah, great. Once again, we've modified that. So let's do our git add and our git commit. There we go, done. Now, if I do git diff, git diff is telling me there's nothing that's different. And that is true. These files that are right here, there's nothing different between them and the branch that I'm currently on. So all the changes have been registered. That's what git diff is telling me here. Now, if I switch back over to the master branch, there are going to be differences between the two of them. So let's, let's do that. Uh, get checkout master. Okay, so I've switched to the branch master, and your branch is ahead of origin master by one commit. Okay, now they're saying use git push. Not to, that's not to do the updates. Git push would be to publish, to send it up to GitHub, where it would be available for everyone to see. I'm just working locally here, and I want to know git diff bob. So what are the differences between the branch that I'm on right now, which is master, and bob? And it's going to tell me right here, these red ones right here. This is the difference. You'll also notice that when I switched back from bob over to master, up here, I lost that. So git is automatically updating these files. So if I look into the, uh, the file explorer, the finder, whatever it is, the operating system you're working on, if I look in there, I don't see files um, necessarily changing, or I don't see two copies of the files right there. What Git is doing is it's storing the latest versions of things. It's saying, okay, these are the changes that have been made. So as I move from branch to branch, Git comes in here and actually makes the changes to the one copy of the files that are here. Okay, but I want to bring that code that I created back in the Bob branch back over into here. And that's the merge command. So that's what we're going to do now is we're going to, if I do git status, just to double check where we are, it's always good to do. It says I'm on branch master. Good. Git branches, or git branch. Yep, there we are again. We're on master, not on Bob. Either one of those commands is going to give me that information. I want to git merge to bring that stuff from the Bob branch. The changes I made over there, I want to bring them back into here. So I'm on master. I'm saying git merge Bob. 
this is the branch that I want to fetch, and I want to bring that into wherever I am. There we go. Fast forward, get ignore, added the changes, did the four insertions. So that's these two lines and the two blank lines. That's my four insertions. Done. I now can check git status. Okay, nothing to commit, working on a clean tree. Everything has been updated. So because I merged a branch that had all that stuff saved into the master again, now my master branch is up to date. It's got everything added, everything committed. We're good to go. We've got everything that we need here. And the last thing about branches is if I no longer needed that Bob branch, and this happens fairly often. You create a branch, you do an experiment, you add a feature, and then you merge it back in. You don't need that branch anymore. All the code that you added is now back in the master branch. So let's get rid of it. And that is another one of these git branch commands. Just with the dash D flag. So with the D flag, we're deleting this branch. And then there's the name of the branch I want to delete. Boom. Deleted branch Bob status. I'm on branch master. Everything's good. Branch command. Oh, that's right. Git branch command. <laughs> there we are. Master. That's the only branch that I have left, and that's the one that I'm working on. And that's it. That is branches. Uh, if we want, we can now push these changes back up. So we can do git push dash u, because we've got to be logged in with a user. I want the master branch, and we're sending it up to origin. Oh, sorry, got that backwards. So I'm pushing, which means I'm uploading. I have to be logged in. That's what the dash U is. Origin. This is what URL are you sending this to, and which branch are you sending? And there we are. So I have now updated the master branch up on GitHub. So let's come back up here and we'll come back up to the code folder. There we are. And six minutes ago was that change. Let's go in there and take a look. There it is. There's all the changes that we've made back in the in the master branch as well as the ones in the uh, Bob branch that we then merged back and uploaded. So we have everything up to date. There we are. And that's it. That's how you use Git from the command line. Uh, if you have any questions about branches, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will leave the uh, this URL inside of the uh, description, just in case you want to take a look at that. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.